Um, hello, people of the internet. Welcome to my room. I'm going to be doing something a small bit different. My headphones aren't plugged in, and I'm going to solve this guy. If I can, yeah, right there. Right here is perfect. Oh, can you see it there? Right there, yeah. Uh, perfect. Let's scramble it real quick. One sec off camera work. You can hear it. <laughs> you can hear it being scrambled. Might have to do some corner flips. I'm pretty sure I just flipped a corner accidentally. And here we are. I'm not the best at it. I only know the beginner method. Not CFOP or Rux or ZZ or what, whatever. But I can solve it. And I'm going to put this on YouTube. So that everyone knows that I can solve for you a Rubik's Cube. I already started, if anyone wants to know. <laughs> there we go. Come on. There we go. This is a good angle. Here's a good angle, right? There's a good angle. This is a good angle. Uh, there we go. That's the edge piece I'm looking for. Ba -ba. Eh. Hold out. Well, that would have worked easily. Much, much more easily. Mm. Let's see, I need to insert this. Here, insert. Inserted. Uh, there we go. Inserted. In you go. Alright. On to second layer. Now is when I'm actually going to start getting into some fast movements. I know what I'm doing here, don't worry. I've solved a Rubik's Cube before. That's why it was solved and it didn't have the logo on. Because I messed with this Rubik's Cube so much. This is a very good... This is going to be a long solve. I don't know why YouTube... I don't know why it just decides to be a long solve today. I'm used to these being a lot quicker. Like, a lot, a lot quicker. So far, a corner... Hasn't been twisted. Or maybe it has... It just hasn't mattered. Uh, three side salt. I'm just missing the last bit. Bam! Solved! Proof I can solve a Rubik's Cube. Yeah, proof I can solve a Rubik's Cube. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Uh, yeah, I got nothing much more to say. Just cover that up. Cover that up, too. I'm making risky plays. I just turned the camera around. Yeah, there's a little pattern I know. Here, just, just to make this a bit longer. Because I don't like short videos. Uh, let's see here. Bup, 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 bup. This is called a checkerboard pattern. It looks like a checkerboard. Yep, I'll just go solve that. Right, there we go. Uh, thanks to everyone for watching. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Tell me if you want any more Rubik's Cube videos. If you want me to teach any, if you want to be taught how to solve it. Sure, sure, I'll show you. And you don't have to do the... I don't really remember anything much. I, specifically, I'm talking about what moves what. I know this is a U of some sort. U prime or U. I know this is an R of some sort. I know this is an M of some sort, but I'm not really going to be using that. I only use R, U, D... 
and L. But if you want to get even more beginner, you can only do R, U, and this D. And D. I'm specifically talking about this D. <laughs> Legit. Um, thanks all for watching. Once again, like, subscribe, notifications. Turn that bell on. Wait, no. That's, that's notifications. Uh. Bye.